everyone, it's Karina. I have a Project Share slash AliExpress die haul. I wanted an excuse to use all of my new dies and to also to play with the Maggie Holmes Parasol collection that I hauled a few videos ago. So it worked out great. So I'll go ahead and share with you the dies that I picked up first and then I can go ahead and get into the projects. I will include all of the dies and the shop that I purchased it from in the description below in case you guys were interested in getting these as well. So the first die I have is this ticket die and down here it says handmade with love and it also has a four and a date and then this says make something wonderful. So I thought that was cute and it has some of the stitching detail, some little hearts. I picked up this bow shaker and I didn't do a project with this but I will include a picture that you guys can see what it looks like. And then I got these tag dies and I thought this would be perfect for some washi samples or you know for trim, twine, whatever. I picked up these layered hearts and you get one, two, three, four of them and they all have stitching detail on them as well and I don't have these long parts so I wanted to pick this up for my collection um, I got a tag die and I like how it has the little clips I picked up this heart wax seal and you get the large and smaller size with the layering pieces this is a memory dex shaker um, there is two different sizes, so there's a larger one, but I got the small one. Here is a postcard die, and I got this one. And this is supposed to be a box, and I will include a picture because I didn't get around to playing with this one yet. Um, this one's one of my favorite dies that I picked up. This is a bow die, and this also has two different sizes. This is the smaller one. And I picked up this hamburger box die. So those are all the recent dies that I picked up. I wanted up. to quickly share, look how satisfying this looks. I never really get to go through a collection and I think I did pretty good. There's only a few chipboard pieces left. Same with the stickers. And then I used some of the puppies. So these are all the projects that I made and I put everything in this wooden box that I got from Target and I think it looks so nice in there. Right, so I will start off with the first thing that I worked on which was this shadow box. This is probably one of my, I know I probably say this a lot but I think this might be my favorite shadow box that I've made so far. I love all of the layers that I did for this and on the top of the box I included these flowers and this is a die that I got from Hobby Lobby it's this die right here and the smaller flowers are from this die set which this has been one of my favorite mostly used dies this year but yeah this is the front and then I used this floral paper for the sides and I also decorated the um, inside of the box on all the sides. I think it looks really pretty. So I made two memory decks cards. Here's the first one. Guys, I included this little tiny tassel and this bow charm. And I love how layered this looks. I love the butterfly. And I made this one as well. Mm -hmm. 
This one has a butterfly charm and a white tassel. For the next project, I use these two die sets. They're from Lawn Fawn. This one is called Art Supplies and this one's the Canvas and Easel. And this is what I made with them. They are absolutely so cute. I love these embellishments. I kind of went all out for these. So I already packaged these up and then I made a little back topper. This is how it turned out. And here is the other one. This is the Sizzix um, Tim Holtz flower die. I actually think it's so cute. And here is the other set. Alright, and for my next project, um, I use this die set. It's a crystal ball die set, and you can also buy the dome separately, which I did. And here is how my embellishments turned out. So I packaged them up already, and I love using twine just to add some further decorating. Let me get those off of there. I think I can show you. So here is the first set. Sorry if for the glare, but hopefully you guys can see. This one's my favorite one. I feel like this would be so fun to use and make it into a shaker. That'd be cute. Now I'm going to share with you the actual dies. So this is the hamburger box. This is how it turns out. So it's so cute. So it comes with these layering pieces and they do have some stitching detail on them. That's what it looks like on the inside. And this was actually the last project I was working on with the collection. So a bunch of these are like leftover stickers. So I had a bunch of these flowers and then the sentiments left over. And I think it turned out pretty cute. That's the first box. I also made this one. I decorated it similar to the other to try to use up those flowers. And it also comes with this um, scalloped side that you can add, so you can include it or not. They both turn out cute either way. Alright, and I made these tags using the tag die. And it doesn't come with the layering piece, so I did that myself. I love the st stitching detail. And I just added some twine on top. And this is the banner that comes with the die and then the little paper clips. And these are the wax seals. So this is the bigger one and then smaller size. This is how I decorated the back topper. I think it looks really cute. And I added this charm. And these are the shakers. This is the back topper. So I added this doily and then on top of the back topper. The collection comes with a bunch of these buttons, so I just put them on top randomly. how I decorated them. Here is the other set. I made a bunch of these 
bows. So for some I used some glitter paper. This one I used the same pattern paper. So that's how it turned out. And for this one I used vellum and glitter paper. I'm not sure what I want to put in the middle yet but yeah I love how the vellum looks. And then I also did some stitching with some of them. And lastly, I will show you the postcards. So I did make these envelopes myself. And then I added some twine that went with the paper. So we'll start with this one first. So this is that Sizzix die and I added some seed beads in the middle and then I left this part blank if I wanted to add like a note or something and on this side I did a bunch of decorating and embellishments and this is a little stamp that I made on the corner. The last one. That is everything that I made so far with the parasol collection. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.